In this video we're going to learn how to find the modulus of a complex number. All we have to do is follow the four steps. Square the real part, square the imaginary part, add them and then square root the answer. In the next slide I'll show you why that is the case, why it works and then we'll see an example. So here's our example question where we want to find the modulus of the complex number 4 plus 2i. Now, the modulus of that complex number is the length of the line that goes from the origin to the point. And one thing, hopefully you can see this, we've formed a right angle triangle that goes from the origin to um, 4, 0 on the real axes and then up to the point 4 plus 2i um, in the middle of that first quadrant. Now, we want to find the length of that line, so let's call it r. Now, because it's a right angle triangle, we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to get r equals 4 squared plus 2 squared. Now, you've got to be careful. So far, with complex numbers, when you've been multiplying and doing work, you've taken account of the i and you realise that i squared is minus 1. So some of you might be wondering why this doesn't say 4 squared minus 2 squared. But it should be clear we're after the length of the line on the Argand diagram and all the eye is doing is telling us which direction to go in, in terms of going up. So the fact that it's complex really has nothing to do with it. So it's just the um, real part squared, so that's 4 squared, and the imaginary part squared, so that's 2 squared. That comes to root 20. Now we could leave that as our answer, but... We're, um, we're good mathematicians, so we're going to say, is there a square number that divides into 20? And 4 does. So we can write this as r equals, instead of root 20, root 4 times root 5. But we know that root 4 is 2, so our answer is r equals 2 root 5. In the description below, you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful, staying in field with Winfield.